Welcome back to another episode of Flying Sparks Garage. In this episode, we are going to be prepping our chassis for some action. In the last episode of this car, you saw us pull this beautiful 57 Chevy into our shop, pull the body off of the chassis, and yank the old engine and transmission out. And now we are going to get to work on it. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in Texas, and this is the exciting part for me. We actually get to start restoring the car. So we're gonna sand the frame down. It's got some rust on it. I think a lot of it's just dirt and stuff like that. I don't see any rot on the frame. So we're just gonna sand that down, get it prepped and put some kind of maybe enamel or some undercoating or something on that frame. So we can start putting parts back on it. Yes, Yeah. so excited. So thankful y'all are here. Let's get to work. This is what the frame looks like when I say it doesn't have any rot. All that stuff is kind of on the surface. And I'll show you on this side, I've already taken the little grinder to it. So that metal's in really great condition. And you can even see down here, it's still got the factory paint on it underneath all that brown stuff. That's all 1957 paint on there. I'm gonna do the rest of it. say they don't make them like they used to that's true man it looks like they welded this together with bubble gum <laughs> the welds are hilarious <laughs> it's true there's, there's welding splatter on everything i guess they were using stick welders old arc welders back then i'm happy with the way this frame's turning out it's looking really good it's cleaning up really nicely i got the sandblaster out earlier and did some work on the front and as I kind of expected, we're going to need to roll this thing out. And I think I need a little bit finer sand because it's getting clogged up in the gun. But for now, I guess we're going to run the Summit. They've got a paint that goes on the frame and it comes in a rattle can. And that'll keep me from having to put that thick paint through my really nice gun. So I think we're going to get some of that. And maybe, I don't know, you think buy the brake lines for it? I think uh, that would be really good. They have a really pre-bent good. brake line kit. So once we get paint on it, we can at least stall something. Uh, we're, we don't know what we're going to do with the front suspension yet, so we're going to go ahead and sandblast that, put some paint on it. That way it looks nice, makes me feel better. But we have to run to Dallas, well, actually Arlington, which is an hour and 15 minutes away. We're going to shut it down for today, and we'll come back tomorrow, finish sanding, get some paint on this thing. See y'all in the morning for more progress.
It's a lovely day in Flying Sparks Garage World Headquarters. It's lovely outside of Flying Sparks Garage, too. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we are really stoked for more progress. We were just saying this morning, the last two jobs that we've done in this shop, the OBS um, Power Stroke stuff, and then especially the 300ZX, when we were on our way to the shop, we would be like deep breathing because those jobs were just tricky. They were um, challenging and not that much fun. Yeah. <laughs> the fun is having them done. Yes. So we are so excited to say that we do not have to do any deep breathing on the way to the shop to no. work on this car. This car has been a joy and it's like old metal. It's got so much personality and potential and we are just so excited to be working on and it. And it's a blank canvas. We can make it what we want. The other electronic cars, you kind of have to go within some guidelines. But this one, we can do whatever we want. And we plan on it. Yeah. We're so excited to show you guys the ideas we have for this build. But for now, we're going to get more work done. Less yep. talk, more work. That's it. Everything else we can get with the wire brush. The man's back at it. On to the next mission. We were at Summit last night. We ordered a pre-bent brake system for it for four-wheel discs. So we committed to four-wheel discs. <laughs> but for cleaning this, I think we'll take the old fuel line out and the old brake lines out. That way we've got a clean platform to start cleaning on. So we'll see how easy this comes apart. Easy enough. Those probably need some pliers to bend them out of those clips. I got it. Okay. I just pulled out. Take one there. You know what? What? I'm just gonna cut this stuff because we're not using it. Okay. You give me a cutting wheel. Aaron has just made a discovery. Yeah. Emily was lollygagging, so I was sitting here bored, just kind of like, hmm, I wonder if that engine turns. <laughs> and I tried it, and it does. Check this out. It turns. It's got a tough spot, but it turns. Let's go back the other way, I guess. That is crazy. Oh, so maybe. If we get hung up on parts with this thing, we'll take a day and see if we can get it to fire up. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. Is it a, it's a small block, it's 280, what it's, is it? It's a small block 350 with a two bolt main. So, so there's it is nothing a 350. special. Yeah, it's 350. There's nothing special though. You wouldn't want to build it because it's two bolt main. Some people do, but people prefer not a four strong. Bolt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It'd be fun to like put juice in the cylinder, see if we can get it freed up and yeah. just make it make noise. And like the intake was open when we bought the car and it was like full of sand. Oh yeah, it still is. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, so great. Cool. Let's well, stand the frame. By log lollygagging, he means I was talking to my mother. She texted me and said, can I run over for a hug? It is so special. You guys know how much family means to us. My mom lives on that side. My sister lives on this side. And it's just ideal. It's awesome. It's time to get to work now, though. We're going to set the camera on the tripod and just work. So we will see y'all on the time lapse with the good tunes. DJ, Adrian, hit it.
We are sufficiently dirty. We've yep. sandblasted our faces and about <laughs> wire brushed everything in this shop. <laughs> yeah, you probably saw that pile on the floor. I mean, there was a mountain of debris that came off that frame, <laughs> but it looks really good right now. And we picked up General Chassis Enamel. It has a picture of a chassis on it. It says gas and grease resistant, which is important because we're probably gonna leak gas and we're probably gonna have a leak. So we got a bunch of cans. We're just gonna start laying the stuff on and see how it looks. Well, we grabbed a case of that stuff when we were at Summit yesterday and we were like, sounds great. We don't have to think about it. We don't have to worry about it. Let's just grab that stuff and go. Yep. So we're going to hit this frame with the first coat of this stuff and we can't wait to see it laid on. So. Yeah, it's going to be semi-gloss, which I prefer for chassis. I don't want it shiny and I don't want it matte. Semi-gloss, you know, semi. <laughs> just like him. Not too shiny, not too dull. Just... <laughs> Woman, stop talking. <laughs> Well, that was a successful day. It was. It, I'm really excited. I don't know if my respirator wasn't working or if it's just the progress, but I'm in a great mood. You just feel so good, huh? Yeah. Yep. Accomplished, lightheaded, yeah. just euphoric. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. What are we going to do next? The frame we, looks so good, y'all. We, we're not sure what to do next. Uh, go take a shower? Oh, no, I mean on the car. <laughs> Well, I mean, we'll just have to see tomorrow. Yep. How we feel. See you guys tomorrow. What's next? It's another gorgeous day at Flying Sparks Garage, and we are here to have some more action with the 57 Chevy. We are going to toss the front tires back on the car, well, on the chassis, and roll it forward because we want to lower this body down. Currently, we don't have any new parts to put on this chassis. We have some brake lines on order and uh, suspension on order, but we don't have any of that in yet. So we're going to busy ourselves with discovering the original paint underneath this navy paint on this car. So we're gonna spend some time with the DA sander and seeing what we can uncover. And we're really excited about that. Man, Aaron got like 
three quarters of the way through that uh, rear quarter yesterday and it is so pretty. The original color is so sweet. Um, Larkspur blue. So we're really excited to see what uncovers on this door. It's going pretty good. It only took me 10 hours to do about three feet by three feet. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show Emily what I'm doing. Time consuming? Okay. Up here on the top, it's going to burn through really quickly, which is okay if, if it kind of stays in this pattern that it was in. We don't want like sanding dips and things like that. But to start, I think we're going to bring her down here. If you guys don't know, Adrian, who edits this, is he grew up in a body shop. And so he turned me on to these. Um, it's a hook and loop, like foam pad, and it's silicon carbide. And he said, that'll give you what you want. It'll look more like age paint than if it had been sanded. And so these are 1,000 grit that we're using. I did just order some uh, 500 grits because a lot of this paint's thick. It's got like two or three repaints on it. So when we get to this type area, I'm gonna have her use these because that's what I found worked best. To start, we're using a 400 grit dry and that's just to knock this dark blue off. As soon as we get past the dark blue, we switch to a softer pad like this. So that's what she's gonna start with. DA sander, 400 grit, dry, put her mask on, all that good stuff. And see if we can get down to the, the base layer underneath it. And then we'll start fine tuning it with these guys right here. I'm going to work you should do the same. Okay, let's do it. Yep. Less words, more work. Everybody on Instagram was giving Aaron a hard time because I posted a reel of him wet sanding and he didn't have eye protection on. You only get one set of eyes. I was sanding on this door and Aaron came over and checked in with me and I'm like, I do not like the way this thing is sanding out. <laughs> there was you, no, there was no um, Larkspur blue. No, uh, you the, can the, sand all day and if there's no paint under it, then yes. you can eventually hit metal. I, I went through layers and I'm like, I'm not seeing the beautiful Larkspur blue under this. So things have escalated. <laughs> this is not the way we plan things to go. But at the moment, Aaron has stripper on the door. Yeah. A lot of stripper. He <laughs> said he was going to try a small section. <laughs> Maybe not. He's going to do the whole dang door. Sometimes this is how things go, y'all. This is how things go. Yeah, we had yeah. an idea in this episode of we'll get the chassis looking nice. We know we're going to have to wait on parts and we need a welder and all that. So then we jump over, uncover the original paint. That way we've got a full episode. You guys can see some progress. But it looks more and more, especially since this door doesn't have any factory paint under it, that we're going to be painting this car. And if we're going to be doing that, why sit here and waste a whole bunch of time sanding, a bunch of sanding pads, and be breathing that dust in, even though we're wearing respirators, it still gets in our clothes, when you can just strip the paint off. So I'm going to try and strip the paint off. Oh my goodness. I guess I just committed us to painting. I, that's, At least this door. Well, I just but, said it. Oh my goodness. But what, what were we going to do? It, it yeah. Was, we were there anyways, you know. So we're struggling with the fact that we really liked the idea of the car having original paint under the layers of navy blue. And then going, okay, if we can just sand off the navy blue and then embrace the Larkspur blue for a few years and not spend the time and money painting it quite yet. Yeah, and don't forget that we're in the process of building a new garage. And there's not a place to put a nice shiny car right now. So we were kind of thinking, you know, it'd be better if it had not so perfect paint. That way, if it's sitting outside under the trees for a day or two, it's fine. But so, yeah, this is this is uh, projects are dynamic. And if you have crazy. expectations that's going to go a certain way, you're going to be disappointed if you're not fluid. So here we are being fluid. So let me show you another reason that we decided, hey, we got to do something different. So I got this looking all right. Like this section up here, I can live with. I really liked this. Yeah. But the further I get into it, the paint just gets thinner and thinner. This was done with a thousand grit. So like there's, 
Yeah, I mean, you can't be any more gentle on it. And we're already getting that rust, the uh, primer through it. And then I get back here and bam, that's a lot of freaking Bondo. And you can see there's rust underneath that Bondo. So you got these bubblies here. That wasn't prepped correctly or is just so such a long time ago that it seeped in somehow. So I need to take that Bondo out and fix that correctly. And if I'm doing that, I really don't want to go back with like a fake patina just to try and save this little section that looks kind of cool. So we're not committed to painting it, but we're committed to taking it down further than we thought we were going to. So here we are. I don't know how much you'll see in this episode, but we'll keep working. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I guess that is easier than all that sanding I was doing. Mm-hmm. Man. See, on the inside of this door, there's Larkspur Blue. Right there. So, I don't know if when it was, like, bunged up back in the 60s, who knows when, um, if they maybe wrecked this door and they stripped all the factory paint off before they painted it. Sipping 60s. She got a whiskey down. <laughs> Sipping 60s. Oh my goodness, dude. This is wild. All right. There's that. Well, uh, we've officially gone from going to embrace the original paint and try and do something we didn't ever want to do. We were going to try and make these fenders match the original paint, which was the Larkspur Blue, um, which inherently was going to have to be doing some fake patina. Which we're not a fan of. Which we're not a fan of, but we liked the idea of getting, kind of featuring the old paint, embracing it, and our friend Adrian is quite the talented, if you guys are familiar with Alex Taylor's 55 Chevy, where it's like patina, but the fenders in the front clip of that car are actually carbon fiber. So in the areas where it's like burned through patina, you can see carbon fiber. Adrian did that car. Um, he's very talented and we were going to utilize those skills, but we don't want to have half a car be fake patina. Right. Um, just to embrace the old paint. Right. So we're painting this car. Yep. We've just decided that as I was moving the cameras around and we were discussing, oh my gosh, we've got stripper on this door. Yeah, I said, decision's made, it's getting painted. And I feel a relief just knowing that. It's like, now I know what I have in front of me. Strip it down, get all the metal fixed and paint it. So it's gonna take some time because we have to try to get videos out each week. But there's always the thing of, we gotta wait on a trunk pan to come in. We have to wait on suspension parts, differential. So you'll see some of this car and then we're gonna have to bounce to other projects and stuff like that. But that's how it goes, man. We're doing the same thing you guys are in, our, in your garage. We're just getting her done as we can. Yep, things take time. Yep. Yeah, and especially like when you order parts, it's like you busy yourself with other things and that's what we'll yeah. be doing. We've yep. got a lot of rust on the underbelly of this car and on the interior of this car to address. So mm -hmm. we, we've just got a lot of work to do and we're thankful that y'all are here <laughs> for the adventure of yeah. it because man, is it an adventure. You think you have a plan and then things change right. and you just got to roll with it. Yep. Um, for all the folks that said you should paint it, well. There you go. It's getting painted. <laughs> it's gonna, this is this is happening. Yeah. And she deserves that, by yeah. the way. This I, is, I'm stoked to do it. This is this is our, our dream from the onset was to give it a really good paint job. Mm -hmm. um, we were just going to try and not spend that money and time because we're building the house and building the new garage and da da da. Yeah, and you guys probably aren't aware of this <laughs> dynamic, but what happens in our life is it, it's going to make noise on the mic. Oh. Um, what happens in our life is we have to get episodes out every week. This is how we pay our bills. And so to get on a project and let it take six months and then drop an episode occasionally on it, that doesn't work good for you guys and it really doesn't work good for us because it ties the shop up. So we just have to work around it. You know, it's a big project. Usually smaller projects work better for our shooting schedule and stuff, but here we are and we're excited to do it. So bear with us and we'll see how it turns out. This will be fun. Yeah, y'all will see the progression of the build. And we have a lot of fun plans for this build that um, aren't gonna be derailed by stuff like this. 
Uh, so y'all, y'all are going to enjoy this one. Got some cool plans for it. Yep. Um, and some other vehicles that are going to be revived to make those plans happen. So yep, that's right. Um, yeah, this is going to be a really fun adventure. And as y'all know, we're grateful that y'all are here. And um, I, I think we could wrap the episode here since we're not going to paint the car in this episode. Well, we're not going to get the patina. As long as they went and bought a shirt or something like that. <laughs> otherwise, we got to keep shooting and get those views up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you guys, let me just find that QR code. Where did you put that? That QR code. Is it in your pocket? Oh, yeah, I'm that's here. where it was. Here it is. <laughs> Open your camera phone and point it at this QR code and you can buy a shirt. Neither of us are wearing our own apparel. Hot Rod sent me this and Derek sent Aaron that. But you should buy some of our apparel because now we get to paint a car. And <laughs> we need your support. <laughs> really? We, we appreciate uh, you guys going over to the store and looking at stuff. Yes. It's, it's fun for us. I love wearing my buddy shirts, and I hope you guys do too. I appreciate it. Yep. We're trying to do better this year about promoting our apparel because people said we should. So we're trying to do that thing. And um, as always, we love and appreciate you guys so much. And we're thankful for y'all and uh, hope that you subscribe and like and comment. And we'll see you guys <laughs> on the next crazy episode that may end differently than we intended, but here we are. Yep. <laughs> Love y'all.